What makes an IT certification valuable? Well, certifications are one way an employer can assess your hiring potential, and employers can also use it to manage the retention of current employees. Now, not all IT certifications are created equal, though, because they're dependent on why you want to attain it, like leveling up your knowledge or improving your career prospects. So we're going to take a look at 10 IT certifications that are considered the toughest to attain. First up is the Certified Information Security Manager, or the CISM. The CISM certification demonstrates you can develop and manage an information security under ISACA's goals. This exam is a four hour, 150 question test. It focuses on uh, four domains, uh, information security governments, risk management, program development and management, and incident management. The CISM certification is not awarded until you pass the exam and have verified five or more years of work experience across at least three CISM domains. To maintain the certification, you must take at least 20 hours of relevant continuing professional education, or CPE, annually for 120 CPE hours for over three years. This certification is ideal for information security managers, security consultants, IT auditors, risk and compliance managers, and chief information security officers. Next up is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. This certification was introduced back in 2013 and has become a valuable and valued certification. It's recommended that if you're planning on taking this exam, you should have at least one year of hands-on experience designing cloud solutions that use AWS services. Now, while programming skills are not required for this exam, you should have knowledge of programming concepts as they relate to architecture considerations and solution planning. Uh, you'll have 130 minutes to complete a 65 multiple choice or multiple answer questions covering these four areas. Uh, design secure architectures, design resilient architectures, design high performing architectures, and design cost optimized architectures. This certification is good for solutions architects, DevOps engineers, developers, and systems administrators. Next is the Certified Professional in Python Programming 1, or the PCPP1. Anyone from systems administrators to network engineers will find plenty of value in knowing how to use Python. The PCPP1 should only be attempted if you have some familiarity with Python and software development in general. It will allow you to drill down into the specifics of this programming language and really nail the core concepts. This exam is 45 multiple choice questions, and you'll have 65 minutes to complete it. The certification is ideal for software developers, DevOps engineers, data scientists and analysts, systems administrators, and network engineers. Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert, the AZ305. As a prerequisite, you must first pass the Azure Administrator Associate, the AZ104 exam. It's two hours, 40 to 60 questions. Now, after you pass that exam, then you're able to take the AZ305, which is also a two hour, 40 to 60 question exam. Uh, so who's this cert good for? Well, uh, Azure Solution Architects, Cloud Architects, IT Managers, and Technical Consultants. While the Azure Solutions Architect exam is difficult, what's tougher is that this certification only lasts one year. Uh, Microsoft does, however, offer to renew your certification for free. Just make sure you pass the online assessment before your certification expires. The AWS Certified SysOps Administrator, or the SOA C02. This certification is excellent for anyone who wants to validate technical skills on the AWS platform. This exam covers everything from deploying and managing AWS resources and implementing security and compliance measures to monitoring and troubleshooting. It also focuses on automating day-to-day -day processes that are crucial for maintaining AWS operations. Now, it may not be considered the, the most difficult AWS cert, but you'll need to understand things like EC2, EBS, S3, and, and RDS, as well as the ability to design and implement scalable and high availability architectures. Uh, this certification is great for you if you're interested in AWS cloud computing. The ISC Squared Certified Cloud Security Professional, or the CCSP. To earn the CCSP, you'll need to fully understand cloud concepts, architecture, data security, infrastructure, and platform security, and compliance and legal issues. As cloud computing continues to grow on a global scale, this certification will show employers you understand the unique security considerations present in cloud computing environments. You'll need at least five years of cumulative paid work experience in information technology. Now, three of those years must be in information security and one year in at least one of the six domains in the CCSP exam outline. Now, in order to pass this exam, you need 700 out of 1,000 points and you'll have four hours to answer 150 questions. 
This certification is great for cloud security architects, uh, engineers, security consultants, managers, and information security analysts. The Certified Information Systems Auditor, or the CISA. Now, ISACA also grants the CISA certification, targeted at practicing IT auditors. To earn the certification, you'll need to pass a four-hour, 150 multiple choice question exam with a score of at least 450 out of 800. You also need to submit an application to demonstrate a minimum of five years in experience in IT auditing, control, or security. Uh, after all that, you'll be required to take a minimum of 20 hours of continuing professional education per year to maintain certification. Certified Information System Security Professional, or the CISSP. CISSP is a vendor neutral security certification granted by the nonprofit ISC Squared. This is a more technical and it covers a broader and deeper range of topics than the CISM, which uh, was aimed at management professionals. Uh, candidates for the CISSP hold roles like security consultants, security auditors, analysts, security managers, and network architects. Uh, there are two versions of this exam to choose from. The linear fixed form version is six hours long with 250 questions. The computer adaptive testing or CAT version is three hours with 100 to 150 multiple choice and advanced innovative items. Both exams focus on eight domains, uh, security and risk management, asset security, security engineering, communications and network security, identity and access management, security assessment and testing, uh, security operations, and software development security. Uh, to take the exam, you must have at least five years of work experience in two or more of these domains. Once you're a CISSP, you must recertify every three years through at least 120 hours of continuing professional education. And there's more. You must also subscribe to the ISC Squared Code of Ethics and pay a yearly $125 fee to maintain your certification. The Cisco Certified Network Professional Security, or the CCMP Security. The CCMP Security focuses on skills related to securing Cisco-based networks, including identity management, authentication, authorization, firewalls, anti-malware programs, and security policy development. This is a challenging certification that requires a deep understanding of how Cisco security solutions work and how they fit in with the wider Cisco network architectures. To earn this cert, you'll have to pass a core exam and a concentration exam specialized to the kind of security that you want to pursue. Since there are two exams, there are also two prices to consider. The core exam is $400 and the concentration exam is $300. Once you have your CCMP security certification, you must recertify every three years. And last up, the number one most challenging certification, the Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert, or the CCIE. It's Cisco's top level certification and a highly valued badge of competency in the industry. According to TechTarget, less than 3% of Cisco certified engineers even obtain the CCIE certification. That's less than 1% of all networking professionals worldwide. Uh, becoming a CCIE is not easy. And once you become one, you must recertify every two years or your CCIE will be suspended. The CCIE is a series of certifications with specializations in enterprise infrastructure, enterprise wireless, collaboration, data center, security, and service provider. Each certification stands alone. For each specialization, candidates need to pass a two-hour written qualification exam and then take an eight-hour hands-on lab exam. So who gets their CCIE? Well, that's, that's roles like uh, network architects, senior network engineers, technical solutions architects, network consultants, and network research and development engineers. It's not easy to compare the toughest IT certifications, but we tried. What do you think? Is CCIE tougher than CCNP? Who's voting for Scissor, maybe the CISSP? Let us know in the comments about your experience getting certified and if you found any other cert difficult to obtain. Uh, like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.